Hello, I'm Andrew Pizzelli and welcome inside another edition of The Coaches Show. I'm joined once again by Salva Regina Football Head Coach Kevin Gilmartin. And Kevin, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure as always. Yep. And tough game for you guys in Cambridge on Saturday. Tell me what you learned and what the team learned from that game. Uh, well, well, first off, I mean, what you learn is uh, you don't like to lose. I mean, that's the first thing that jumps out. Yeah, I mean, and it's it's tough to, to go go through a loss and have back-to-back -back losses. I mean, that's the first time, you know, we've done that. And, uh, you know, it, it really helps you develop about yourself, about your character. Um, we came out and, you know, we, we felt like um, we were evenly balanced teams, but we need to crank it up another notch emotionally. And I don't think we were there emotionally. Um, I think we had a couple of our uh, our key starters that weren't a part of it. And all of a sudden, that took a little emotion out of our, out of our guys. And so because of that, you know, if you, if you don't have that extra emotion, that extra drive going for you, you know, it kind of makes you stumble a little bit. And then once you stumble, then, then you have some problems. And then you got to work your way out of that. And that's what, that's what happened to us. But then we had to try to work our way back. And so every time we battled back, which was nice, you know, we come back and we're battling back. And then all of a sudden, you know, they responded, you mm -hmm. know, which, which is difficult, you know. But, but we kept battling back and kept trying to, you know, get back in the game. And, you know, it came right down to the end. I mean, like, uh, you know, we go for that onside kick at the end there and we don't get it. But all of a sudden we get that. And then, you know, who knows what would have happened. Yeah. Happy to be playing at home this week after three or four on the road to start yeah, the season. Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, you know, to get to be able to play in our in our home field in our environment where we practice every day. That comfort, you know, it's 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 such a different feeling. You know, I mean, like on the road, you know, traveling down the days before or or getting up extra early so that you can travel up to the game. You know, to be able to sleep in your own bed, get up a little bit later. You know, have your routine at your house and everything, and and at your dorm, and then uh, then get to get to the field and you know play on the field where where we always practice and get better at, and then have our crowd, our fans. You know, even though if you looked at the last couple of games, you know, um, we're up at uh, we're up at Cambridge this weekend. And I mean, on that left hand side, it was it was covered in blue. Mm -hmm. You know, and, uh, and down in William Patterson a couple of weeks ago, when our defense was out on the field, the crowd's chanting defense, defense. You know, and I mean, we've we've had great crowds, and now to get a home game, hopefully, you know, we'll get an even bigger crowd for us. Yeah. Talk about your upcoming opponent and what challenges they present. Okay. Um, well, first off, I mean, when you look at that team, the thing first thing that jumps at you is is their offensive line is massive. Um, they have a 300 pounder, and that's the small guy. <laughs> uh, they have a 340 pounder. They have a 360 pounder. We're watching it on film, and uh, and. He's going against his defensive end, and the defensive end is just being dwarfed. And uh, you know, and you look at the guy, and uh, the defensive end is 260 pounds, but the 360 pounder has him by 100 pounds. You know, and it's like that's you know that's tremendous right there. So right off the bat, their offensive line is is a very large human beings. Uh, then the, the next one is their quarterback. He is uh, he is an incredible athlete. Uh, I think he's run for over 100 yards in a couple in, in a couple of the games, and at the same time he's throwing touchdown passes. So their offense is putting up points, and at the same time, uh, two weeks ago they held their held their opponent to three points uh, defensively. And so uh, you know you get an offense that's clicking, and then a defense who's shutting things down, you know, makes for a definite challenge. And at the same time, we got to rise. So what we're going to do? Uh, hopefully we rise, step up, and uh, you know we can get out of there with with some more smiles on our faces. Okay. Well, coach, mm -hmm. good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Salva Regina head football coach Kevin Gilmartin. I'm here with Alex Hume, wide receiver for the Salva Regina football team. And Alex, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And obviously your performance on Saturday, 12 catches, 132 yards, three touchdowns, 147 return yards, a very successful day for you individually. How were you able to find success? Well, uh, I got to really credit my teammates, at least for like return yards wise. Kick return team did a great job holding their blocks. Uh, opening the holes, allowing me to find the hole and get as many yards as I can. And then same thing for offense. It's it's really a team effort from the O-line holding their blocks, allowing Wilkins to throw to the other receivers running their routes, opening up space, allowing me to catch the ball, whoever's open to catch the ball and get as many yards as they can. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for as a team to be playing this Saturday at home after being so many games, three out of four on the road to start the season? Yeah, very excited. I mean, it's never easy playing on the road. It's always a battle, but hopefully that this homecoming we can find our way back on the winning track and continue the season. Yeah, all right. Well, Alex, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Alex Hume of the South Virginia football team.